there is an important distinction that we want to make here. And that is, let's say you have really taken to heart what we've talked about here. So you've focused upon some emotions that feel good to you. Mm -hmm. Unconditional, like you say, but you really mean unconditional. So you are feeling appreciation and love and you've fostered it and it's easy and it's easy to go there and you feel it not just about your partner but about a lot of other things and other people you're just consistently there so you are pretty wobble free because you mean to be you get up in the morning and you realize that your momentum stopped while you slept and then you just focus generally on things that feel good so you maintain it for a little while and then law of attraction is responding to your pure vibration so as law of attraction responds to your pure vibration, what happens is it becomes more detailed, but it remains pure. Now, what we mean by that is if you start out thinking about that you want to feel good, but you realize you don't, now you're thinking about feeling good and not feeling good. So at the very beginning of this point of attraction, you got a little wobble going. Mm -hmm. I want to feel good, but I want to feel good, but I don't feel so good. Well, once these two points of attraction get going there's the one that source is fostering and there's the one that your belief system is fostering mm. so now law of attraction is causing both trains of thought to get more detailed mm. so the wobble gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger what you want comes into clear focus but the absence of it also comes in clear focus the things you like about your partner come into clear focus the things you don't like about your partner come into clear focus so there is this gap between who you really are and what you really want and what your practice thought is and we're calling that the wobble mm -hmm. so the more you allow momentum to occur untended to which is what we've been calling creation by default for a long time, just responding to conditions. Someone says something complimentary to you, you feel good about it. Someone says something derogatory to you, you feel bad about it. So you got these two vibrations going on and you feel no control about it because the momentum is carrying you away. The story we always insert, car on top of a hill in San Francisco, you've been there, it's amazing. Take it out of gear, take the parking brake off, just to see what happens, bump it a little from behind to give yourself a lesson in momentum. <laughs> but then before it goes down the hill and into the bay, you come to your senses, you step out in front of it and you let it bump up against you and you stop the momentum early on. When you stop the momentum early on, when there's not much wobble, it's easier. If you're not aware and you let the wobble get bigger and bigger and bigger, now Oh, now you're reading books on relationships and you're trying to figure out what's appropriate. And is it even appropriate to even be gay to begin with, for God's sake? There's got to be a lot of books on that subject. And then there's all those intolerant people around the world. And there's books about all of that. And then there's, oh, should we get married? Should we live somewhere where we can? Is there a financial benefit to it? What do people think about it? Pretty soon you're just off in the weeds in all of this detail that you can't control and you just spend all your time putting out brush fires trying to control those details when if you would tend to your wobble early on you would find an increase of momentum in the thought without contradiction and then you would experience what we've been talking about for years which is the leverage of alignment what it feels like to have source flowing through you you see mm -hmm. right and the thing about partnership the thing about having somebody that you really care about the biggest disadvantage that you give to yourself and to that person is that you try to harmonize with them instead of with source within you mm -hmm. you let what they think and the way they behave distract you from your ability to find perfect alignment with who you are and then you don't even begin to extract from them all of the power and wonderful experience that you could extract from them if you were allowing law of attraction to be singular and without wobble within you right. Does that makes sense to you yeah so, yeah so so just focusing on the source within me and being in alignment is all I should be really but you have to do it 
early on. In other words, right. when the person said, how do I get rid of doubt? And we said, you do it before it starts. That is an answer that is really annoying because once the momentum is there, then what? And we say, tomorrow's a new day. Just start tomorrow in a fresher place. Go as right. far as you can go without wobbling. And then tomorrow, do it again. And then tomorrow, do it again. And then tomorrow, do it again. And so before you know it, you will be mostly wobble free. And there will be things that will come up because right. you've got trajectories on different things but once you show yourself how easy it is to obtain vibrational stability and then what happens to your point of attraction once you achieve vibrational stability you'll never go back to creating by default again you will stop being sloppy in your thinking because sloppy thinking creates big-time wobbles and then you spend so much time out there in the weeds Esther thought the other day she was discussing with someone that she really cares about the art of parenting and there are so many philosophies Esther just wanted to run away <laughs> because you just can't get there from there if you are on a high-flying disc and somebody's in the middle of a problem and you're trying to come to an agreement about it you can't do it your frequencies are too far apart you just have to say you're probably right let me know how that works out <laughs> and then just run as far as you can <laughs> where you can find your own alignment don't try to convince anybody of anything this debating over conditions and the rightness and the wrongness of things is such a waste of your life experience it never accomplishes anything except well it does accomplish it causes you to launch more rockets it causes you to expand but it doesn't help you in the keeping up with the expansion that you've accomplished okay. so now good basis here where are you about this I feel good about it I feel comfortable I know that everything's gonna be fine so what was the question that you wanted to ask before we interrupted you incessantly it's uh, it was that I just I want to I want him stutter, to, he can't even find it so I'm so I know right because it's changed just with it's the conversation totally, yeah. but a condition has happened and you have found it again and so speak it here what is it that you need <laughs> him to do differently I just want him to be happy Oh, and, that's a condition you can't yeah. control. So I guess that's a condition yeah. that you can't control. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I want you to be happy. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> because when you're happy, then I'm happy. But, <laughs> Which means now I got to control whatever it is that's making you unhappy or resent you for not yeah. just finding it more easily. <laughs> well, you got to You got to be happy anyway. I am happy. I mean, I'm happy. And we mean consistently happy yeah. even when someone you love isn't happy even when somebody you love isn't happy so how can you be happy see here's the rub isn't it because you have trained yourself to believe so you're happy and they're not now there's a sort of vibrational impasse if you can remain in alignment with source flowing through you your power of influence is such that the other will gravitate to your happiness but you usually don't hang in there long enough mm. to let that happen right. because <laughs> in your happiness you are crazy in your happiness you think that you'll just dip down to the unhappy place that they are and you'll rescue them <laughs> but you never do because when you dip down to that unhappy place instead you feel resentment because you were happy a minute ago before they did that <laughs> or a little bit of blame or responsibility or something that you can't control but it's tricky to we're just going to put this out to you and feel where you are with this so you're flying high for whatever reason you've been practicing it for a few days You've been writing the emotional words that feel good to you. You've steadied yourself and you know it. And improvement is showing itself and you're starting to feel pretty frisky and empowered. And then you rendezvous with someone who you have an appointment with or you're married to or you work with or you're assigned to them in some way. And they are clearly in a different vibrational place. They're not feeling good. You're on a high flying disc. They're on a low flying disc and you care about them you really care about them so they present to you their situation and in fact they are even annoyed that you are so 
darn happy because <laughs> your happiness just reminds them of what's missing in their experience and so they really need you to come and relate to them because that would close their gap if they could get you to be a little miserable <laughs> they think they would feel better they don't feel better and you often go because you're focused there but what if you were so practiced in your vibration of alignment and you were feeling so good that you didn't go that you didn't go that you demonstrate to them in the same way that your inner being demonstrates to you that if they're going to play with you they got to come to where you are and once you establish that within yourself and really mean it because you see you got two things going for you here two really big things one your partner really wants to be happy and two your partner really wants to be where you are if you give in and go to where your partner is without holding yourself to the place where you know that your partner wants to be can you feel the disservice that you do to anyone by giving them what they think they want by giving up your alignment and going to a lower vibration because if you are not tuned in, tapped in, turned on, you don't have anything to give them anyway. When you're in alignment, you're clear minded, you're solution oriented. When you're not in alignment, then you're just part of the problem, just like they are part of the problem. And you can move around in that for a long time. So what you want to demonstrate to the people that you love is this. I care about the way I feel and I care about you. And I care so much about the way I feel and I care so much about you that I'm going to make sure that I feel good unconditionally. And at first that's going to feel to you like I am not giving you the attention that you want from me. But the reason that I'm not giving you the attention that you right now think that you want from me is because I would have to change vibrational frequency so severely in order to do that. And then I will resent you. I promise. <laughs> I will blame you for the dip in my vibration. Isn't it nice to know that you're doing it all to you? you're giving other people the credit for it you are a condition that is so compelling that now i'm giving my attention to this compelling condition which is you i'm not in the place that i wanted to be and it's because of the compelling condition that is you so you need to be different so that i can feel better that right there is the basis of the destruction of every relationship I'm holding you responsible for how I feel when nothing that you can do and sustain for any length of time is going to establish me with what I really want because in doing so I'm looking for love in all the wrong places I'm holding you responsible for something that you cannot possibly be responsible for so what you want to say in your marriage vows or your partnership vows or whatever your vows are to anyone that you're interacting with I take full responsibility for the way I feel and you're completely off the hook and they'll say wow really Ooh, I'm gonna like this and then you say which means when you're in a bad mood I'm not coming there to reassure you I take full responsibility for the way I feel which means if you're not in a place that feels good you will not have my undivided attention oh well I know that's what you meant <laughs> I thought that meant that I could feel rotten and that you'd be okay with it. I will be okay with it because I won't be over there feeling rotten with you. So you're just going to leave me over there feeling rotten all by myself. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. You're going to like this. You're going to like the way the universe responds to you. You're going to like the way your emotions respond to you. You're going to like the way your point of attraction fills in. You are going to like the way you start turning your thoughts to things. You're going to like the way you turn your vibration, your vortex, your vibrational reality into things like relationships and things like clear sentences and things like further ideas and things like empires and things like improvement in your life experience. You're going to like the way the things in your life change because of your newfound point of attraction. You're going to like it and you'll see the evidence of it as soon as today. Yeah something more that's awesome you are amazing thank you as always <laughs>